The Allegheny Journal is delighted to speak with Jay Woodson today, who's running for a seat on the Allegheny Highland School Board. Welcome, Jay. Thanks, Jerry. Glad to be here. Appreciate your time. Jay, you've had some experience on school boards before. Um, you were uh, lively as a member of the Covenant School Board a couple of years ago. So you've had not only the experience with, you know, being in a board setting, but you've got substantial uh, business and industry experience as well. Uh, tell the public, um, why do you want to join the Allegheny Highlands School Board? That's a great question. I think, um, like you mentioned, I've been on the school board on two separate occasions um, years ago for the city of Covington, and then uh, obviously uh, most recently a couple years ago with the city of Covington as we as we work towards the merge. Um, I have a vested interest because obviously I have a, I have a daughter at Allegheny High School who is a rising freshman. Um, but beyond that, I have I have I'm a lifelong resident of the Allegheny Highlands, and I have a vested interest in friends and family. And I just want to make sure that we provide the opportunities for our uh, for our, our children uh, at a level that that uh, I remember growing up. So um, I'm very much vested in this, and 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 want to see this school system succeed and and really uh, thrive, not just succeed but thrive. You know, Jay, I, I was entertained almost uh, as a videographer at the various Covington uh, school board meetings. I didn't know you at all. And all of a sudden, um, you came on the board and you are the exact opposite of a yes man. Uh, you read the documents that were before you. It was obvious that you had read the documents before you came to the meeting. And I, I, you probably saw the smile on my face on multiple occasions because some some of these documents have you know fifteen points, and you would you often wanted to have an explanation instead of just saying yeah yeah you know raise your hand to everything, and that kind of scrutiny I think was somewhat unusual. Uh, I'm not saying the other board members didn't. But I just say you were a little bit more, um, probably more thorough with questions uh, than some of your brethren. Why is that? Uh, well, that's something I noticed as well, Jerry, uh, this go around versus my previous stint on the boards. Uh, and I would say, you know, um, my parents really uh, uh, impressed upon me to be prepared. And if I and if I was going to participate, then I was going to participate. And I think um, what I noticed this this last go around was there was a lot of preconceived answers, uh, pre agreed upon, uh, I guess, decisions. And um, I, I think I think it's time that we kind of roll all that back into more of a local control. It's one of my big points is. You know, we don't necessarily have to agree uh, to progress, right? And, and um, I, I do believe in asking questions. I do believe in detail. I think uh, if you if you focus on the details, then at the end of the day, the results are going to take care of themselves. And, and um, you know, I'm unwavering on that point. It, yes, it creates a lot of uh, late night reading, <laughs> late night investigation. Um, but that's the job of the board. And if someone's not prepared to, to do that, they, they, they shouldn't get on the board. You know, I've watched you on a, on a number of occasions. There would be proposed policies coming in from the uh, Virginia School Boards Association. And you would have thorough questions about them. And often the board would have to pause and, and get some additional information. You know, in the end, I think the result was better. Absolutely. You know, you, you can take the time to do it correctly, or you can take the time and do it again. Either way, <laughs> that time's going to be spent. You know, one other thing I notice is, and, and it may be as important as ever, but it's a bigger school division now, and money is always at issue. So with that uh, as a backdrop, um, 
are, are, do you have significant financial concerns or is there one particular or maybe even two issues before the board now that you're most concerned about? I do have concerns. I think, I think um, that, you know, obviously when the merger agreement went through, there was an amount of funds that were, that was provided as an incentive to make it kind of happen. That money kind of ends and dries up and goes away. And so then you're left with what you typically would see uh, as, as um, financial support to operate the school system. So I think in the interim, the board really needs to start taking hard looks at how do we make uh, the, the school system not only run successfully, but efficiently. And I, I, I don't believe enough time was spent focused on those type of items as we merge the systems as needed to be. Uh, so I, I do think that's going to hit and hit hard soon. And I believe, you know, we, we need to dive down into the details around how do we efficiently use the resources that we're going to be left with in order to provide this, this uh, thriving system that we all have a goal for. Do you have a, a vision for uh, maybe where the school board should be going, either policy-wise or actual uh, physical changes? I mean, looking forward from any school board, one of seven members, that's nothing's going to get done if there isn't a solid you know, core of agreement. And of course, you know, you've got some expanded athletic facilities and things like that. Are, are there ideas for the future that you think either need to be pushed a little harder or, or, or what, what do you see as the future, the, the an immediate future for the board? Are, are there any particular issues that need to be dealt with right now? Well, I, I think the I think a lot of time was spent during the uh, during the merger to ensure that we came up with uh, you know name of the school, the you know uh, mascot, the color of the uniforms. But boy, we sure didn't spend enough time on curriculum, and we sure didn't spend enough time, I think, on um, maximizing everyone's potential. So, so I really think that needs we need to go back and focus on that you know, the efficiency of the operation. Not a lot of time was spent on that, I think. So my, my goal and my focus would be to, to double down on those efforts uh, and, and um, you know, the, the, the time of being fed what we ought to do versus, um, you know, understanding, investigating, educating ourselves and determining what we ought to do um, are two different things. Um, and, and I think the board needs to uh, get back some of that local control. And the way you do that is you, you roll up your sleeves, you get in there and you start digging. Uh, to me, the curriculum is really the big part that needs to be focused on. Um, you know, a lot of the standards of learning, um, I guess, uh, uh, will, will kind of roll back, let's say, post-COVID. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of SOLs to begin with. I do believe there needs to be some type of test provided, but I believe our our creative educators are more uh, apt to, to do that testing than, than the state of Virginia. And so I think, I don't wanna see us roll down standards. I wanna see us rise, those, raise those standards to the point that, that everyone doubles down and gets in and, 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 and begins to maximize potential at all levels, uh, board included. You know, and do you share the recent um, division concern about absenteeism? I don't, I don't recall um, the Covington School Division having a significant absenteeism issue. But then again, this, just as this was happening, we started dealing with COVID. You know, how important do you think this absenteeism problem is? I think it's important, but I think it also, you mentioned COVID. I think it all kind of, at the time of COVID, we, we as a school system decided it was okay to learn from home. Um, 
Well, it wasn't okay, clearly, to learn from home. I think all of the standardized testing, all of the results across the nation says that. That was a huge, ginormous mistake. I think it's going to take a bit of time to turn the ship, but I do see it as a huge, huge opportunity. And, and quite frankly, it's going to take a bit of time to, to, to re-educate not only the kids, but the parents uh, that, that attendance at school is critical. And I think we, get, we have to get back to those days. You know, I, I'm not attempting to revisit uh, consolidation here, but I know both of the uh, current Covington School representatives on the board, and they seem to not only get along, but, you know, to be an integral part of this board. Um, it, 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 how do, do you think the consolidation effort overall, I'm, I'm sure it was a terrible political football prior to the vote, but you know, accepting what it is. Um, do, are you confident that the board as it's constructed really properly represents the populace? And, and B, um, you know, is the integration of the actual members on the school board um, the degree of effectiveness that you would have expected? First, I know, I know all the board members, uh, you know, um, and I, I respect them all very much. I, I, I think, and I found this to be true when I was on, on the Covington board, it is um, sometimes it doesn't seem to be an appetite for, for people to have a different point of view. I, th I think healthy, healthy conflict is a good thing, right? It, it, it leads us all to a, to a better answer. I always say that, you know, uh, not one of us is as smart as all of us jointly. And uh, I think I think there needs to be acceptance of discussion. There needs to be acceptance of various opinions. Um, and and I, I think there needs to be more of that. Um, I found that it was more more likely for everyone to expect everyone to to vote a certain way versus discussions, as you pointed out earlier, and and maybe asking for more information and things of that nature. So. I'm a firm believer in, like I said, doing it right and, and taking the time to do it right versus doing it again. And, and um, you know, that's 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 the way I function. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, the, the folks on that board are, are open to that type of uh, type of board member and uh, looking forward to working with them. I think at the end of the day, I think everyone on that board was a uh, Components of the merger prior to, including me, I, I think it's I, I voted for it uh, many times in my adult life to to merge the schools. I think it's it was overdue, and I'm glad it happened. Now it's time to make it right. Well, Jay, you're running a, a write-in campaign. That's pretty unusual. And again, Covington's a a small town, so because of a little glitch and um, how somebody gets on the ballot, uh, that's the state of affairs. And, and we sincerely appreciate you taking the time to tell everybody uh, who Jay Woodson is and how he feels about the uh, school division. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you, Jerry, and I appreciate that. And like I always say, the Lord puts us where he wants us. And, um, you know, um, I, I'm running as a write in. I appreciate everyone's support in the city of Covington. I look forward to serving you for four years and uh, let's, let's, uh, let's turn the ship and, and, and get it headed in the right direction. And I thank you for your time and uh, appreciate everything that the journal does for the locality. Thank you, sir.